Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Begood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today I wanted to talk about a news story. A sad sad news story. That overlaps with yesterday's video. And that was the actual theme of the video yesterday. And that is how narcissism and other cluster B personality types have a great overlap. From one personality type or condition to another. To where a narcissist might do something out of character that might mimic a sociopath or a psychopath. Or where a sociopath or psychopath might seem and appear to be quite narcissistic. Well one other overlap that can and oftentimes can happen with such characters. Is substance abuse. And sadly such substance abuse issues can lead to even more neglect and endangerment of their children and others. More so than just the garden variety narcissist who is already a danger to their children and everyone else around them. Well this Texas couple was arrested on a ton of charges. Because their one year old child was burned severely by boiling water. I can only wonder how that happened. To the point 17% of the child's body was burned. And these two individuals in their drug-filled and likely highly disordered minds thought it would be a great idea to inject their child with meth 14 to 18 times. You can't make this stuff up. You just can't make this stuff up. They did all of this to so-called help their child with the pain. Later they brought the child to the hospital and left. Later they were arrested and their six-year-old tested positive for having meth in their system as well. You see. No matter if it's a drug addict narcissist or an alcoholic narcissist or a hoarder narcissist or a none of the above narcissist. And please. Don't get me wrong. There are lots of loving people that have substance abuse and obsessive compulsive issues that aren't narcissists. But. But those that have these problems or other problems that aren't listed. They literally wreck the lives of their children. And then later on when their child is an adult. The world doesn't care who wrecked their life. And they are now trying to fight an uphill battle. And that's where the narcissism and sociopathic nature come into play. They love to see others suffer. They suffered as a child so their child will suffer. They don't want to see their child make it out. So they are going to do their best to make sure they are a drug addict too. So they are an alcoholic too. So forth and so on. And to get these results, narcissists are stepping over those lines of what one believes a narcissist to be. Because they will do whatever it is to get not only their narcissistic goals, but, but their need to see others suffer much like a sociopath. Did this child accidentally burn themselves with the boiling water? I can't see how at one. But I still have to ask did they? Or did one of these cracked out? Sorry. Sorry. Meth out donuts. Did one of these meth out donuts impulsively throw the water on the child? Simply because they wanted to see the child suffer. And this is the root where dysfunction comes from. It comes from donuts like these two. And like I said. Once the children become adults and are fighting an uphill battle in their life. Who will care that these were the jerk balls that started them on this path? But that's what they want. A life of suffering that they can. Watch. And that they can feed on. Well that's all I have for today. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.